Hi friends, Suzanne here. Welcome to the fourth installment of the mini series called Crafting at the Lake House. In case we haven't met before, my name is Suzanne Nets and I blog at sunstampin.com. I'm a Western Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I conduct most of my Stampin' Up! business online, except for these lake house events that I facilitate three times a year with my friend Terry Hamilton, the car designs in this mini series are of the 12 make and takes that our attendees participated in. I hope you have fun watching the how to videos and get inspired to create your own works of art. Of course, all the products used in the demonstrations today are linked below in the description box for easy access to the online store. Here we go with card number three, and I am featuring the Forever Fern stamp set. Now I did want to make mention here that this stamp set comes with dies that cut the leaves out, So, but it is not bundled in price. You do not get a 10% off. And um, I did want to also make mention that I'm using three greens, Granny Apple Green, Soft Succulent, and Garden Green Ink. So with this Granny Apple Green, you can see how I'm stamping off. I noticed that it was kind of um, a little, hmm, like the ink wasn't uh, right on that distinctive stamp. And those are special stamps that have a lot of detail in them. Stampin' Up! has invented this and it's actually really awesome but you have to have the right amount of ink in your ink pet. So if you take a bone folder and squash the ink down, you're going to get the, um, the right amount of ink on your stamps. So hopefully that little tip will help. And here I am inking up with, this is Garden Green, and I'm inking up that distinctive stamp and you can see that this one didn't have a problem. I could tell that it was a little off. It was, it looked too inky and splotchy kind of, and it just needed to have the ink pushed down a little bit. And that was soft succulent for the third leaves. And you can see that I placed them on the block so that I didn't have to um, stamp twice. So this is a piece of basic white. It is three and a half by five and a half. And I'm just going to place it on my pool party card base. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to just eyeball and I can, I find that, um, I mean, if you wanted to measure, you could, I just wanted equal distance on the top and bottom. And um, there was a little bit left over. So I just trimmed it down. I'm not the I never say that I'm perfect when it comes to cutting paper. You know, sometimes you have to do this. All right, so here I have my dimensionals stuck on the back of my rectangle. So these are three stitched rectangles that um, I die cut for our attendees. Now, only one dimensional has the backing removed. So this is a little tip in case you're looking for a perfect measurement and I'm trying not to push down too much. And you know, I will move stuff around a little bit. It's way easier for you just to tack the rectangles with that dimension, just one dimensional. I'm using the top left. And then, so I guess this card is called a triptych card. It is a, um, a, a lovely technique, but one of the things that is huge about it is that you do have to make sure that it is even. You, every little, you know, if it's off or crooked or whatever, it's going to show up on this kind of a card because it's very simple and simple cards sometimes are the hardest. Um, but, and you will see if something is off. There's three equal um, rectangles. That's why I chose the stitched rectangle dies to cut those out. So they're equal in size. I didn't even have to worry about my own cutting. And then of course, having the um, hello, and I took my time to adhere the hello directly in the center. And I made sure that it was exactly in the center. 
that is the end of this card design of course stay tuned with me on wednesday for another card design from crafting at the lake house thanks so much for watching and bye for now